Hello friends and family of you too. Well, today I have a micro light. It's a 22 FBS. First time that I've got to experience being in one of these. And uh, hey, if you like the 21 FBRS, this is fairly similar, but uh, got a few things different. So anyway, let me take you around the outside and then I'll show you the inside. And we'll go ahead and start on the back side. And it is pre-wired for a backup camera. Got you a ladder to go up on top and check out the roof periodically. And I'm over at Northgate RV in Ringgold, Georgia, which is right outside of Chattanooga, Tennessee. And um, anyway, if y'all have not watched my channel before, I don't work for the company that makes them or sell them. So uh, I'm kind of giving you a review from my standpoint. Doesn't matter to me if you buy one or 10 of these, I'm gonna show you the way I feel about it. Anyway, you got four corner jacks on here. These are manual operated. And you got your uh, gray tank connection here. You got a dual axle, got an outside shower. You got your water connections over here for your city, your cable satellite. And this does come with a slide and it does have a slide out cover over it as well. And something I like to see is they have a fresh water drain right here, that white connection there. That way you can empty out your fresh water tank. And let me show you how much storage you got here in the front. That goes all the way through. And uh, right here is also your, uh, this is where you can fill your water tank at. So you can drop a hose down inside of here and fill that up. And also you've got two uh, battery up here and you've got two propane tanks. You've got an electric tongue jack and I've got a battery charger hooked up to it. One of these jump boxes. So I'll be able to turn the lights on inside today. All right, and around here on the, on the outside front, you've got, a, got an awning, you got two speakers and you've also got an area where you can hook your TV right up here on that mount. And you've also got a system that will come out here on this uh, this little platform and you can put you a uh, gas grill. Also got a grass, gas grill connection down there and you've also got solar hookup over here as well. If you wanna keep your batteries topped off. All right, so let's go up inside this three-step entry and see what's going on inside. And we'll go ahead and start on the back side of this particular unit. It's a little dark in this corner, but once I get away from this corner, you'll be able to see just fine. I do have the interior lights turned on. So right by the door here, you do have an area where you can store some food or you can store clothing in there as well. And right here, you've also got your refrigerator freezer combo and it's by Dometic. And it's set up to where you can run it on gas or electric. Pretty good size refrigerator freezer combo. And also right here beside the uh, refrigerator freezer, you've got your bathroom. And I will say this, you do have plenty of leg room right here, but as far as getting your elbows around the toilet to be able to do your paperwork, you are gonna be a little bit limited on your elbow space. Now let me undo this and show you inside the showers. This has a magnetic shower door that you can pull these closed tight so that while you are taking a shower you don't have to worry about water dribbling down all out in the floor and uh, you've got this little latch here so that as you're in transit these doors won't be banging back and forth now you've also got this system here which this will turn colors when uh, the water gets warm enough for you to do a shower that way you're not wasting water water will recirculate until it gets warm enough then you can start taking your shower and not get a cold uh, splash there at your start of your shower. And you've got a little area above your head here to give you a little more head space as well. Pretty good size little corner shower unit. And you've got just a little bit of storage down below your sink. And you've got a 110 outlet here. And you've got a place where you can stick your hair dryer in here and several toothbrushes. And you've also got a little bit of medicine cabinet here to put you uh, whatever you might want. All right, let's go in here and check out the kitchen. As you can see here in the kitchen, you've got two big size drawers here. Plenty of storage in these. I'll go ahead and pull these out for you. It's about five inches deep. Looks like about a 18 by 20 inch size drawer and there are two of those. And you've also got a little area here where you can put sponges or 
whatever you want to and you've got a two bowl stainless steel sink set up here as well and it's just got a standard faucet head this is not the type with a removable one but um, anyway you've got uh, got you a three burner cooktop with a uh, fairly decent size oven in here especially for camping man that's a good size oven and you've got uh, these drawers here as well now the uh, the price on this particular unit right now they're showing 24 grand and it looks like the suggested retail on this is about 34 one and let me get up here and show you the uh, you got your microwave you've seen inside of one you've seen inside them all <laughs> so you've got plenty of storage in here as well you got about 20 inches deep maybe 18 inches something like that and you got two of them of course and they did put the struts on where it will hold it up and that helps you put your uh, put your food in there or whatever you're trying to put in there and that way you can do it one-handed and you've got a uh, pretty good sized TV here. I believe it says 32 inch. Yeah, that's a 32 inch TV. And also you've got a faux fireplace that does work as a heater. I think these put out about 1500 watts or that's what they burn at. I'm sorry, 1500 watts. And I do not remember the BTU, but anyway, you've got a little area here where you can put your laptop computer. And the good of that is you can sit right there, maybe in a little stool or something and be able to use your laptop here. It's a little bit far stretched to get from the bed to this laptop table. Anyway, you do have you uh, right beside the bed here. You've got a little drawer you can store you a few things. And also, let me show you what we got going on here. You got a little bit of storage beside the bed on both sides and there's a little bit over the bed as well, those two little doors. And you've also got an area here where you can open that vent up, Little, little bit of the, heat source out and uh, get you some fresh air. Beside the bed, you do have, uh, you've got USB and you've also got cigarette lighter adapter there as well. And you've also got 110 beside the bed. And I don't believe I talked about it, but you do have these smaller windows on both sides of the bed. And you've also got a Wi-Fi Ranger that will help you pick up if you have a weak signal for your uh, free internet if you're at a campsite or something that has internet. That gives you the ability to pick it up a little better. So again, you got us a little uh, sofa here that's uh, kind of theater style seating. And you've also got some little tables on here so you can rotate these little tables around. Now I will say this, these are flimsy. These are very floppy. I really doubt that you would want to put a computer on that. You could put a small plate of food but you would not want to put a computer on that and you do have an outlet right there as well where you can plug your computer in and keep it charged up and um, i know everyone's going to wonder if you have this slide slid inward would you be able to still function in here and the answer is yes the one thing that you would cover up is you would be covering that outlet right there by having that slide forward so um, you would still be able to fully do anything you need to or want to do inside of here. Let me also show you uh, this little bit of storage you got over here beside the uh, bathroom. You've got, I guess you could call this a pantry. It's part of the kitchen area. And y'all know how much I like these little things right here. So they gave you one of those. You get bored out here camping for a few days. You can sit there and fool around with that for a while. All right. And I did not talk about it, but I do need to address it. You do have your uh, air conditioning up into the ceiling and you've also got the little vents up here as well. So that's what's going on here. So you got your vents for that and the heat vents are down into the uh, cabinet area of this little uh, kitchen area. So you've got, got two over here and you've got, uh, I believe one over around the other corner. So anyway, let me give you a little layout of the land here. Right, I am as far back as I can get to the front of the camper. So this is what uh, your angle is going from the front of the camper facing the back. Now let me walk around to the back side here and show you what it's like towards the front. There's my buddy Virgil, y'all remember him? Love you too. <laughs> All right, so here's, uh, here's the angle facing towards the front of the camper. And if you recall, when I first started this video, I said this is very similar to the 21FBRS. 
there are a very few small subtle differences between the two uh, one thing I did not get to show you is right behind the couch is a table that will fold up and down and you can take that table and put it right out here into the center or you can take it outside and as to what is the difference between this particular unit and the 21 FBRS is this entertainment center here is um, you only have this in the 22 FBS which is the one we're looking at so you only have this uh, set up here you don't have that in the 21 FBRS so uh, what you end up with is these speakers here versus in the 21 the speakers are into the ceiling the other thing is is this cabinet system here this pantry system that is also something that's exclusive to this particular model and not the other one and again i shot this footage over at northgate rv which is just outside of chattanooga tennessee and if you've never been over to northgate man i tell you what they have a huge inventory and what i really like is they give you a golf cart hand you the key and tell you to go have some fun Folks, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. Hey, if y'all would, leave me some comments down below. And also, I'd like to mention that I do have another channel. On the other channel, I show my travels, I show my vlogs, I do a little bit of everything. Uh, I think I even showed a video of me traveling here from home. So uh, anyway, uh, I've got the title down in the uh, show more area. So if you would, click on that and check out my other channel. Thanks again for spending some time with me. Hope to see y'all real soon. Y'all take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.